It is easy to take for granted, but the Milwaukee River is a big part of why this city is here in the first place. New at 10, Steve Shamraz is live at the Urban Ecology Center tonight to show us why efforts to take care of that river are now paying off. Steve. Hey there, Shannon. Spring is not that far away from under all the snow and the ice signs of life are beginning to reemerge just a couple steps away over on the Milwaukee River. Uh, one of those signs of life is a pretty good indication that the work being done in places like Urban Ecology Center is paying off and the river is healthier than it's been in a long time. Even in the dead of winter on a frozen Milwaukee River, there are signs the river is making a comeback. Nice. Yeah, look at that. Take a walk with the Urban Ecology Center's Ethan Bott, and he can show you it's, where I, beavers have been hard at work. So this is a pretty big tree for a beaver to, to, to go after and take down. These were ambitious beavers. Yeah, so usually they're going after smaller trees as a, as a source of food because they're eating the bark and the twigs and the branches. Uh -huh. The beavers are tucked in for the winter right now, but evidence of their work is everywhere. The classic V-shaped notches, trees on their side, destruction that is a good thing because beavers belong here. They were um, the, their nature's engineers, really. They were the ones that were damming up the rivers, slowing the flow of water. Milwaukee and beavers have a long history. The first white settlement in today's Milwaukee was a small fur trading post set up in 1795. According to the Wisconsin Historical Society, beavers caught in Milwaukee were in high demand, shipped as far as Paris and London, where they became fashionable hats. Good for business, bad for the beavers. And so they were really decimated throughout North America. And then combine that, in fact, with Milwaukee becoming the city, urbanization, uh, channelizing the rivers, pollution, and things of that nature, uh, it really pushed beavers out of Milwaukee for probably close to a century. Thanks to the work of the Urban Ecology Center, Milwaukee River Keepers and others, the river is coming back to life. That beavers want to be here and eat these trees is a thing to celebrate. Hopefully here the steak, as you can see right here. Uh, they're going after four large trees and uh, they took down one successfully. So in a couple weeks, when the snow melts and the river starts to trickle again, Look for bite marks on the trees as yet another sign of life returning to the way it should be. While they do cut down trees and it, that sounds counterproductive to what we do here at the Urban Ecology Center, it's actually a really, really good sign that beavers are coming back. All right, contrary to popular belief, what we probably all learned watching Saturday morning cartoons as kids, Shannon, the beavers are not gnawing down the trees and making giant dams and flooding out people's homes and fields. They are gnawing on these trees and knocking them down simply to eat. It's their food. That's it. That's it. That's all. Steve, thanks.